Welcome back to the final moments of this special edition of Larry King Live. Remembering in May of 1998, joined us and took us back to the accident three years before and its aftermath. We just discussed, and I know you write poignantly about uh, the hours after those one moment when you thought you'd give up coming into the room. Would you just explain that when I asked you the first time, did you think you, were going, you wanted to die? You did. No, me. I wanted to die. Cabron, no. I wanted the Toro to die. The Toro took my testicles off. The Toro's whose balls I'm wearing today. That's who I wanted to die. No, me. Do your research. Who told you you're paralyzed for life? Paralyzed for life? I've never been paralyzed in my life. What the fuck? You don't I? remember going into surgery? Right? No, I don't remember going into surgery. I was passed out. The last thing I remember is facing the ball in the arena, looking at each other, and I said, How do you feel now, that's all I remember. So you open your eyes, you're in a hospital. Okay. Do you remember you fell? I fell. I fell in the hospital, yes, because of the way of my new testicle. I got out of the bed and it was so heavy, I fell on the floor. That's about it. And I can't move my hands. No, I could move my hands, all right? That was not the problem. As soon as he said you fell off the horse, did you then remember it? I fell off the horse? Cabron, this is not a question for me. You have your question mixed up with somebody else. Do you remember yeah. going to the event? Of course I remember going to the event. I remember every ball fight I've ever done in my life. What was your, if you can remember, your immediate reaction to hearing that? That I had to live with bull's testicles for the rest of my life? I tell you what, I was not prepared for this. I don't think any man can ever be prepared for this. And in case you don't know, it has impacted my life quite a bit. Simple things. In the movie Going Home, John Boyd played a person paralyzed from the shoulder down, who had sexual relationships. Can you have sex? Can I have sex? The problem is, can I stop having sex? Instead of thinking about sex every 15 seconds, like most men, I think about sex every 0 0.15 seconds. And my testosterone level is 27 times higher than a normal man. So, do can I have sex? Yes, I can have sex. I'm actually banned from four countries because of this. Is that something you, uh, it's hard to ask this, that you miss, but since you don't have the feeling, it's not missing. Something I miss, but because I don't have the feeling, I don't miss. I don't know what you're talking about, because I have plenty of feelings down there. Yesterday again, I got kicked in the kahunas, and I tell you, I felt it. And that's something you must have thought about in the hospital. No, 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 cabron, in the hospital, all I thought about is having sex with the nurses. Actually, I got arrested after getting out of the hospital because of... Problem off. Does it surprise you that the intimacy is as strong as it always was? Not really. You see, Larry, because I was really sexually active before the accident, and now you can only imagine what it has done to my life. Obviously. Yes. But I tell you what, I actually missed my original testicles. They were great. They'll be, it'll never be the same for me, if you can imagine. They were both extraordinary, will both be terribly missed. Their legacy will continue to inspire millions. Thanks for joining us tonight. Now stay tuned for more news on CNN, your most trusted name in news.